So there is no doubt that chemotherapy is continue to fade away. Um, very, very soon we're going to really have also at ASH and it's really uh, something that still is not really um, being released, but the data are gonna be there about uh, the, the study, the Alliance study, that uh, really investigate the use of ibrutinib uh, versus ibrutinib, uh, rituxan versus bendamastin rituxan in frontline CLL more than 65. Very important trial, everyone is looking forward. I think we can anticipate the results, but obviously we don't know yet, but it's something that, that is gonna be important to really be waiting for. So in general, as we see, um, chemotherapy has less and less role in the treatment of frontline CLL. At this point, in most of the guidelines, um, the combination of uh, chemotherapy in the form of uh, uh, fludarabine, cytoxan, rituxan is only, only indicated as obviously it's a discussion that we have with our patient. For a patient less than 65, less than 60, who has IGBH mutated surface immunoglobulin, because we have very long uh, data showing that um, the long-term benefit and the even possible cure. There is no doubt that bendamastin rituxan uh, it still is uh, an option for uh, older patients. I mentioned this trial that they're going to be released on an ASH. We don't know the data, but there is no doubt that the advantage of have a limited therapy is something that we discuss with our patient in when we're really uh, offering um, different types of frontline therapies.